Hello everyone, this is Luxury PL38. Today I would like to do an unboxing on the Chanel Boy Bag. This is actually, um, I believe it is from the last season. It's the 19 series, I believe. I think it's either the Cruise Collections or the Fall Winter Collections. Um, let's get into it. Okay, as you can see the packaging it's sublime and uh, the receipt is over here and this is a very typical Chanel extremely well tied up packaging and I just want to let you know that um, the price for the boy Chanel has increased 300 Canadian since November last year because Chanel did a price adjustment in November last year that was four months ago so it is now retail for $6,250 Canadian. Previously, it was $5,950 Canadian. So there is an increase of $300 Canadian. Okay, so let's get to the unboxing. I like to put the, um, the Camilla in here and I just... I don't know, I just like the position here and it just makes the bag look, the box itself looks nice. Okay, there is no sticker. Usually there is a Chanel sticker, but there is no Chanel sticker here. Again, it comes in a care booklet from Chanel and they usually give a glove, which is that one there, that you can handle the your luxury precious handbags. Okay, let me just get rid of the boxes. This is in fascia color because the receipt itself it says fascia color. So um, it's retail for six thousand two hundred and fifty Canadian. And this is the regular size because there is a smaller one and there is a larger one. I don't see the point of getting a smaller one because the price difference it's only two to three hundred dollars differences i think it's either two to three hundred dollars differences from the small to the regular size but the regular size can definitely hold my cell phone because i have one of the larger cell phones the s plus cell phone from samsung so i tried that on the smaller one and it, it is a bit of a struggle and i can't actually fit it in properly so i decided to get the regular size and this is in champagne gold. And it, it is in caviar leather. Okay. With the boy bag, it does come with a chain and you cannot take the chain. So the chain, it's actually stuck with the bag itself that's one of the differences between the cocoa handle but this video I would like to compare with another handbag from a different luxury brand because of the similarities but we're gonna talk about that later so just to show you the um, the chain strap it's in caviar and you can see the high quality of it and it has the CC on the um, adjustable knot here. You can actually adjust the strap, but um, we don't actually use the adjustable one. Most people don't use it because the, the length of the strap, it is long enough and you can definitely do a cross body. Let me just show you how long it is. Okay, that's the length of the strap for a boy back 
and yes you can do a cross body on that and you can pull it up to make it a double strap for shoulder back and the length itself it is very comfortable so for shoulder back length it is quite a good length and for cross body it is also a very good decent length I believe it's around 20 inches it could be just a little bit under 20 inches but you can always adjust it through here and I like the, um, the boy bag with the kilted one they do come with a chevron but um, for my first well I do have another boy bag but um, for my first proper purchase from the boutique I choose the kilted one instead of the chevron you can't go wrong with either one it all depends on preferences and let me just quickly show you the inside and then we can do a comparison let me just check that out okay this is um, made in France and um, the inside of it the material of this it is fabric so with the boy bag itself, even though the price point now it's over 6000 the interior is still fabric. As compared to the classic flap, the small classic flap it's 6000 I believe it's 6600 Canadian. And um, the interior it's all leather. So just as a comparison with the classic Chanel flap, all the interior are leather as opposed to the boy bag the interior is actually fabric and there is only one pocket here at the back and that's the authenticity, authenticity cut and let me just show you it is the 28 series and um, the back pocket itself it's an open back pocket so there is no zip whatsoever it's simply just open like that okay I'm just gonna do a close-up so that's basically the inside of it and they have the um, serial number right at the corner here at the bottom um, oh the sticker I'm not going to pull the sticker. I'm one of those person that like to keep the sticker in until it come out by itself. So it's a very simple the interior in terms of interior. It's a very simple design bag and as you can see it curves in. So if you get a smaller size, bear in mind that it is also curves in. However, when they do the measurement from uh, if you look at a website measurement, it's actually the length of here instead of the length of here to here. But bear in mind, because of the curves, um, it is difficult to put your phone in for the smaller ones. So as a comparison, I do have another boy bag. Let me just show you. This was actually my first boy bag. It is in um, fur like materials and I actually purchased this pre-love I bought this a while ago and um, it was my first boy bag and um, these are all ladder and I'm gonna show you the inside of this Okay. all these are leather and the kilted up on the inside and if you can look carefully there are kilted as well on the outside so this was my first Chanel boy bag pre-love and this is made in Italy um, you can still see the sticker here and I think I purchased it at a very good deal from fashion file but um, with the boy bag, you are able to find a good deal if you look around. And because of the price, um, in terms of resale value, it is a little bit lower than the classic Chanel flap. 
So you are able to find a good deal with excellent conditions if you do take your time to look at other resales market. So I'm just going to show you the length of my pre-love and this one. It is pretty much the same and even the size are pretty much the same. And this is the new medium because there is an old medium which is a little bit larger, bigger size. But Chanel actually reduced the medium size to this size now. Previously when it first launched, um, back in the days it was launched with a bigger, slightly bigger medium size. Okay, on the last sections of this video, I would like to do a comparison with one of the luxury brand and I'm talking about Louis Vuitton because in terms of style wise Chanel and Louis Vuitton they do try to on certain style they do try to match their style so for Chanel they do have the boy back and for Louis Vuitton they have the twist back so I'd like to do a comparison with Louis Vuitton twist back this is my Louis Vuitton twist bag that was purchased 3-4 years ago. I think it's closer to 4 years. It's between 3-4 to four years ago and it is a twist bag. But if you look at the style, there is a lot, a lot of similarities. The length itself, this is the, um, I believe it is the bigger size. They do have a smaller size, which is the PM, I believe, and this is the MM size. The PM smaller size, it's closer to the smaller boy bag, and the medium boy bag will be closer to the, P, the MM size of the twist bag. I don't think they have a larger one, so it's the PM and the MM size, and this is um, the regular size. So in terms of length-wise, it is very similar. In terms of style-wise, it is also very similar because of the strap. See how the twist back comes in a strap? However, the twist back has actually been modified recently with a different kind of strap. If you look at a new design of the twist back, the strap has been um, given a very different, unique strap that you can adjust. The similarity continue with the opening of the back. This is twist, whereas this one is push. So as you can see, there's a lot, a lot of similarity. Again, in the interior of this twist back, it is also very similar. It has a mirror.